in five, four, three, two, one, action. It's another one of those old Frank Monday productions coming at ya. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, good. So here's the drill. This is Magic 101 with Fredo Francis. Welcome, supplicants and mendicants, witches and warlocks alike. Fire up a COVID killer if you've got one, and let's go deep. Here's the problem. I was watching Gigi Young's Q&A presentation this morning, and I detected two anomalies or inconsistencies in her message. Number one was she vilifies the gray aliens quite a bit. So she launched in and she attacked them. She called them parasitic. She said they were of the lower astral sphere, so on and so forth. So my question to her, which never got answered, because uh, maybe I was a little bit too rough around the edges for the likes of the woo-woo crowd, was on what spiritual authority does she vilify the gray aliens? Now, this comes from a deep-seated interaction, series of interactions with grays, and I found them to be troublesome and I honestly do think that they have a somewhat negative role in the astral, but where is she getting her divisions of lower, middle, or upper astral? She said lower astral, so I'm, I'm curious as to where this divine inspiration comes from, because I'd like to know. So my challenge over the next six weeks is to research the greys and if you have any stories of in interactions with gray aliens i'd like you to send them in i've got the i've got the email address there in the on my on my page so join me on mugbook as well go over to mugbook and look up frank monday and join me there let's connect over this idea of the greys as a parasitic demented, de-evolved race of humanoid offshoots. That seems like quite a bit of a descriptive narrative for these entities. Mm, fire up a COVID killer if you've got one. Um, that's medical advice. As I am not a doctor. Well, actually, I am a doctor of philosophy. Uh, my degree is uh, Master of Fine Arts and Literature with a PhD program in Chinese Literature, Asian Studies here at Tsinghua University in Beijing. But um, that's a title that's typically reserved for MDs. So you could call me Lariat or Doctorate. Um, that's number one about Gigi Young. Now, I stumbled onto Gigi Young because of Dark Journalist. And he promotes her quite a bit. Like, probably every show he mentions her. And she is beautiful. Um, but I'm curious <clears throat> as to where her spiritual authority derives from. She says she's a, a clairvoyant. So I'm curious, as I should be, and I'm skeptical, as I should be, and I question her narrative, as I should, as should we all. The Greys, my interactions with the Greys have been both good and bad, so I'm curious as to where she gets this knowledge and why she can so definitively assert certain things about them. It, it seems a little bit spurious to me. That's number one. Number two, she also spent some of her time vilifying or pointing out the shortcomings of other spiritual teachers. Now, 
this seemed to be a roundabout way of neuro-linguistic programming to make herself as presenting herself as a better spiritual guru than others and the general tendency of mysticism in the public sphere she is scrutinizing as bad and that she says there's a lot of folks out there anybody with a Twitter account or an Instagram account or a uh, TikTok account is a spiritual authority again what makes her say that she's not giving any she's not presenting any foundation or backup for that so what are my credentials well I started practicing mysticism and Qigong when I was about 12 or 13 years old I was a bit of a, a natural mystic as well I was disinclined to believe most of the indoctrination of the church and the school and society as being subterfuge part of this is probably coming from my father's influence on me at a very young age telling me that everything was basically bullshit he was naval intelligence he spent 21 years in the navy he was an officer under admiral nimitz and he told me a lot of his personal experiences with technology atomic operations he was involved with operation crossroads he was uh on jazzco and so he gave me a lot of insights when i was a little boy and he'd point me in the right or wrong direction you know you're, you're doing this right you're doing that wrong so on and so forth and he was of the opinion that um well i'll not get into his opinion here but there's part of my foundation so at a young age i started seeking spiritual truth on my own now you don't need my whole backstory but i've been initiated into the golden dawn i've been initiated into the universal society of the integral way i worked as a mentor for master Ni. Nee. i lived with him for a couple of years as his apprentice and basically housekeeper and bookkeeper um, not money books but um secretary i worked as his secretary um I had training under Israel Regardi when I was before I was even 12 years old. Um, I later on um, initiated uh, my own temple practice in my mid 20s, and most recently I was initiated pastaforis in the OTA, uh, the Church of Hermetic Sciences, with Pope Runyon. So I've done uh, a ton of spiritual training and seeking and development of my own personal spiritual powers um, I've had legitimate supernatural experiences evoked through the rigorous practice of Chinese Qigong and I've penetrated deep into the astral and I'm curious as to how she has some where does her deeper understanding come from the lower astral does she mean mental ideation mm, it's a little bit miasmic in my opinion so 90 day challenge i've only got six weeks off from school which has already turned into only five weeks off from school but over these next five to six weeks before i return to my day-to-day -day job i'd like to explore the astral further and make contact with the greys and get part of their story and an accounting they're not human they have no connection to the human sphere for the most part their interactions with us their multi-dimensional interactions with us are mostly peripheral and come to unique and specialized individuals they're not a parasitic species preying on humanity um, gg young you're wrong in that and other magi who have insight um into the sphere of yasad i would like you to join me and put something down in the comments below my specific system is a clever combination of the sacred and the profane 
the Occidental and the Oriental, the physical and the spiritual. And it's research based not through looking into what has gone before. The past does not equal the future. This isn't about reviewing what a couple of relative individuals wrote in a book about the greys or what the mainstream media portrays the greys to be. This is about starting now and working forward to make contact astrally with these entities and asking them direct blunt questions who are you what do you represent why are you here and uh, why are you interacting she, she says they're stealing humanity's DNA what proof do you have of that other than these relative stories that come out of the mainstream media that are curated by individuals with an, ag with an agenda to sell books and do public speaking once again, I present the challenge, uh, dear Gigi Young, and I do like you, and I enjoy I enjoy some of your work, but you spend 50% of your time in judgment of other people's spiritual expression and vilifying a entity group like the Greys strikes me as bestial, base, and wrong-headed, and to be just straightforward about it, BS. It sounds like a BS narrative. So, I want to gather some entities to bring a greater revelation to the astral guides. Because from what I understand about them is that they stand as gate guardians at certain stages of your own spiritual development they possess great power that's not nuts and bolts technology but is multi-dimensional and paranormal so let's make the distinction let's figure it out you and me join me let's let's do these things together the other thing that struck me as deceptive on Gigi's part is the use of we a lot in talking to her congregation and she has a bit of a congregation she's a you know she's a a bit of a no nah, i'm not going to classify her that would be that would just be just as bad as the way she spent so much time classifying and categorizing the grays and these so-called deviant mystic teachers so um, I'm going to keep an eye on her. I got my eye on you, Gigi, and I'm sending the Greys with a message from the OTA, the Temple of Astarte. Cease and, Cease and desist the BS narrative that the Greys work as parasites because I, unless you have proof of that, unless you can provide a tangible schematic structure of how that works and that it's the greys doing it then you should cease and desist from that paradigm with that said love life and love light and peace to all let us pray lord of the universe the vast and the mighty one creator of heaven and earth maker maker of all things visible and invisible tangible and intangible master of the light and of the darkness we adore thee and we invoke thee send us one of your spiritual agents to protect and guide us in the innumerable sphere of the earthly realm which is mired in endless human opinion and make clear to us the mission and understanding of the grace May we cross the threshold of Yasad and rise towards the supernal triad and bring forth a deeper understanding of those entities which we do not understand and their purpose in our lives. 
we ask all of these things in the name of the horned gods and ancient and achieved ascended masters, our own ancestors, the very electrified blood which pulses in our own veins and animates us. We know that your system of divine immortality is easier than that, simple, based on the three Dantians, bridge points leading to the celestial spheres. We see, and there I'm doing it too. We, who is the we you speak of? I humble myself before thee, as I always have, in great sincerity and genuineness, as the smallest son of heaven. Sending love, light, and peace to all of you good looking, sexy people out in happy land. I hope you are doing well and uh, into the abodes of the future. Bye for now. And uh, yeah, a little shout out to Sandra Sue. How are you? I agree to that. Amen to the one true God and to all true gods and goddesses. Let us not forget there are those who uh, circulate, rotate, and spin below the throne of the Great One. There are many great ones, the great one of true sincerity, the great ones of absolute genuineness, the great ones of the awakening of the individual, and those who work in their collectives. I do not disparage any, and I would never vilify even the greys. Gigi Young, my question to you, dear, is what gives you the spiritual authority to vilify this entity group? Uh, uh, one of my viewers once told me a story that uh, I, I told. I told the story, and, and we'll, we'll finish off with this. I told the story that I was out. I was out in the astral, and I was I was confronted by the three amigos. You know, the three greys. Uh, one was still in the ship, the swirling vortex, and two came into the room. And I don't know, they, they felt neutral, they felt benign, but for some reason I was frightened by them. And so I started evoking powerful incantations at them and trying to drive them away and they, they laughed at me. And uh, another practitioner, a high level witch, uh, told me that she, whenever they appeared to her, she just sent them love and then they'd smile and giggle and, and wander off. And I thought, huh, that, that's an interesting approach. You know, here I am throwing up flaming, banishing pentagrams and evoking, you know, the fourfold tetragrammaton and driving them back. And she does the same thing and even better results by just uh, sending out the heart buttons. So um, I got to wonder where, where a gal like, where Gigi Young, a gal like Gigi Young gets, gets the spiritual authority to degenerate, debase, vilify, and scandalize the reputation of the greys. Yes, love is the law, love under will, love is the answer. And it was funny too, because all the little chatters, her, her admans and stuff, they just start, they launched right in and started attacking me. They're like, you know, you can either take it or leave it. Nobody asked you to be here. And I was like, oh, so you, you guys are winners of the, the great uh, heart of compassion and tolerance, right? Is, it, that's what's always baffled me about certain gurus that don't really engage in spiritual science but have a have a great um, strategy for selling tickets to the next big thing right you know uh, they don't have any tolerance for uh, skepticism and deviant opinions in their midst you either drink the kool-aid or get the fuck out right and so that's not the way mystery pagoda operates uh, the way my particular flavor of the OTA and the OTO for that matter in Golden Dawn and Universal Integral Society of Wayfarers of Spiritual Truth is let's figure it out together. Your experiences are valid. My experiences are, are valid. If you have truly uncovered a parasitic agenda by the grace, then how did you do that? Show me the proof. 
bring bring me back the head of a gray alien and uh, bring me back a living gray alien and squeeze his little balls until he can confesses on uh, live TV that uh, that's what they're up to because I ain't buying into that. That's another form of hypnotism and trance work. And uh, she uses a lot of neuro-linguistic programming. Um, and I'm always wary of people who's, who lay in so heavily with the NLP triggers, right? Just to, in, to, to, uh, to use hypnotism and induction to bring people into their fold. I, that's not what I'm doing here. I'm a wayfarer of spiritual truth, you know? Come and go as you please. Bring forth any any set of ideas that you have uh, tangible experiential proof for, and I welcome it. Send uh, contact me via email. Uh, put put a message down in the um, the comment box and give me you know uh, a little heads up that you're out there, and I'll I'll send you my email address so that you can send me an email and uh, yeah, bring it forward. Help me develop uh, this little platform of spiritual truth known as Mystery Pagoda Enterprises Lunar Light Entertainment FM Radio on your headset, baby. And I'm looking forward to scheduling live uh, interviews. I, I got a couple of different folks lined up in the near future. A cult priestess said that she would be happy to interview me live. And so that's, uh, that's going to be step one looking forward to it love light and peace to y'all good looking happy sexy people out there in tv land i will see you in the abodes of the future until next time bye for now and you know it says in broadcast but you and i both know it never truly ends does it thank you for watching lunar light entertainment